Hey, good Friday morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Yes, two chances of rain this weekend, one tonight for some of you, for those of you that have already had it, the far south it looks like, and then for all of us on Saturday night, we will be tracking that. I am officially, by the way, a coffee drinker because I do have a coffee pot now and I actually make some during the morning. And you're right, it does grow on you. I'm drinking it black um, and medium roast. You know, I found these blends that are like donut shop and stuff like that. Eh, not so much. All right, let's get to it so we can get done with our work day, right? All right. Satellite picture shows the chance of rain that has crept into the forecast, chance of a thunderstorm that has crept in the forecast for tonight in the southwest and south central part of Michigan. See the clump of storms out in Minnesota and Iowa? That's a disturbance that will be over us tonight and could spark uh, thunderstorms. Hey, good morning, Tim Hall from sunny central Florida. We got sunny Michigan here, by the way, believe it or not. Uh, first thing we start with is I want to show you the dew point again. Remember, the higher the dew point, the more humid you feel. When we get above 65 degree dew points, you feel pretty humid. 70, very humid. When we get dew points down in the 50s, it feels fairly dry for summer. And I just wanted to show you how you'll feel fluctuations here in the next 24 hours and then as the main storm system comes toward us saturday night of course the humidity will surge so that's what i'm trying to show you in uh, this situation so the dew points right now uh, 70 degrees in detroit and ann arbor you are on the sticky side hey thank you mackenzie mcdonald from alpina yeah it's going good and larry from charlevox i know charlevoix um, hey, Karen Zilke is going to Beaver Island today. Uh, so dew points, mid-60s, Saginaw, Flint, Lansing, 65 Grand Rapids. You're kind of on the edge of feeling humid. Then you go north to, say, close to Big Rapids, 61-degree dew point. That feels a little bit better. And then Cadillac at 59 and Gaylor to 56. And those of you maybe already starting your weekend camping up north, you have some fairly comfortable dew points. Now, here's the forecast for the dew points. Yeah, see, I'm on a real dew point kick today, right? Well, it's an important thing, the humidity. So what you'll notice as we go through the afternoon, the air is expected to dry out into southern lower Michigan. So see that? You could, you could feel all of a sudden like it's hot, but it's drier air. And that's what you'll be feeling. And then we go through... Tonight, and the humidity comes back up, and tomorrow it's fairly humid. This is middle of the afternoon tomorrow, uh, slightly drier in the north, humid in the south. And then notice as the rain comes toward us and the storms, the surge of humidity in the middle of the night, Saturday night. So Saturday night, hopefully, you have a air conditioner and air conditioner because it will be on the humid side. All right, now let's get into the rain. And like I said, what I've noticed is that everything now is showing a clump of thunderstorms possible tonight. I thought it would be just Saturday night into Sunday morning, but now Southwest lower. And I want to go back to the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. You remember that movie, right? where uh, George Bailey, I think it was, said that he wished he was never born, and then the whole movie ensues after that. Thunderstorms, uh, what rain forecasts in the summer are kind of like the movie It's a Wonderful Life. A model is forecasting stuff, and it doesn't know that a thunderstorm is going to be born the next day. So if a, if a thunderstorm is born the next day that it didn't have in the forecast, then the whole story changes again. And that's what we're seeing uh, in this situation. So what I'll show you is 
we go through the night tonight and tomorrow morning. See how the European develops a fairly significant clump of thunderstorms on the south end of Lake Michigan and moves it south. So you could wake up to thunderstorms in Benton Harbor and maybe Kalamazoo, maybe Grand Rapids, um, but that southwest corner perhaps. And then we're still on track for this is Saturday night into this is up this is 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. Sunday. So Saturday night, Sunday, we're still on track for that storm system to roll across lower Michigan with widespread showers and thunderstorms. And we're still on track for it to kind of linger around on Sunday, but I it'll be in the southern third, and I don't think it'll be very widespread. Uh, we cool a touch after that for Monday and Tuesday, and then we're still on track for next Wednesday or Thursday for another rain. I like this. This is the U.S. model. Ah, thank you, Carol Hammond. Likes the analogy of It's a Wonderful Life. Adair Omak, thanks for watching. And Jackie Kernan, thanks for joining us here on the M Live Morning Weather Update. Okay, so look at this. This is Saturday night. The U.S. model also brings a pretty solid complex of thunderstorms across the state. Not everybody gets it, but it should be pretty widespread, and there should be some areas with substantial amounts. Right now, it's pointing toward Saginaw Valley and the Thumb, which is under moderate drought. and We could definitely use the rain in our area here. So this is the same U.S. model on its rainfall totals. The, the thunderstorm complex tonight and Saturday morning, it's showing is a half inch to inch rain. Uh, Scott Hillerman, what time is the rain going to start Saturday? Where? Uh, if you're talking about the first one, it's uh, overnight tonight and ends early in the morning. And if you're talking about the second one, it's middle of the night. It's, it's you know, 11 o'clock on the west side of the state, uh, one or two in the morning on the east side of the state. And this is what it does for Saturday night's rain. And it shows a swath of inch plus rains. So, you know, we would just have to keep our fingers crossed that the places that need it get an inch rain or more could certainly use it. Temperatures today will be, I would call them hot, you know, about 90, 91, 92 degrees. I've also noticed that with the dryness, all of the model data and the weather service forecasts have been uh, been a degree or two too cold. So that happens. When we start to get dry and that hot sunshine is out, it's hard to keep it down below 92 or 93 degrees. And that's the case again today. But remember, you may feel somewhat of a change in humidity level to a lower humidity level uh, in some. Okay, Roberto Acosta, my fellow MLiver, might head to a ball game tomorrow night in Midland. Rain expected before midnight? No, I think you should be pretty good. Might be close, but I think I'd go for it if I were you. And if I didn't have a ton going on, like family weddings and stag parties and nephew stag parties and all this stuff, I'd meet you out there. Ludington to get severe weather Saturday night. Biggerest thunderstorms? Yeah, possible. I would say possible severe thunderstorms. At this time of the year, if you get a thunderstorm complex rolling, it could be vigorous. All right, now let's go into temperatures. So about 90 to 92 today, even though you're seeing a lot of upper 80s, I think you're making the low 90s. Tomorrow is a hot one. Uh, I would call it 90 to 95 tomorrow. And Sunday is still very warm in the southeast. Uh, John Stack, any bed storms in Nuevo? Not that we see just yet, but Saturday night it could be rocking and rolling. Wendy Curtis, thank you. I'm the best. Yes, Roberto Acosta, we will have to connect sometime. Have a good weekend to you also. Now, after the system moves through on Sunday, then Monday, here are the high temperatures. Look at that. Low 80s and Tuesday, low 80s and Wednesday, low to mid 80s and Thursday, 
low to mid 80s. So we got a great looking week coming up next week on temperatures also. All right, so we're hoping for a rain on Saturday night, and it looks quite promising. I'm not going to say that every location is going to get what they need, but there will be some locations that need to uh, need one to two inches of rain, and you will probably get it. Deborah Blanchard, what about Onaway? You're in the north, and it looks like you will get the rain too, but it tends to seem seem like the heaviest will be in the southern two-thirds. Oh, George Opdyke, good morning from Chief Lake, and I think it's Calava. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not really sure. Thanks for joining me on this Friday morning MLive morning weather update. By the way, MLive, we need some new swag, please. <laughs> Um, have yourselves a great weekend. Uh, I haven't had a Long Island iced tea in seven days, so I'm saying that makes one week. W-E-A-K. No, I don't think I'm going to be a real big Long Island fan. It might be a couple of times a year if somebody convinces me that they're really good at a certain place. But otherwise, have yourselves a great weekend. I will see you back here Monday. I might be working Saturday. I do have my nephew's bachelor party on Saturday night, so I probably will have to make the choice between either being able to go to the party or having to work. And I don't think it will be uh, extremely severe, and it will be in the middle of the night when we're sleeping, when you're sleeping, because I watch the weather. I'll shut up now. Have yourselves a great weekend. Bye.